On 28th September 2020, the NELSAP CU members and the LADP coordinators visited the Ngar District Commissioner's Office, Lieutenant Colonel Michael M. Mtenjele. The District Commissioner appreciated the project as he said Ngar receives a lowest domestic current because the power source seems to be remote. <laughs> On behalf of Power Ministry Engineer Innocent Luoga and the member of Rusumo Power Project said The LADP coordinator Mr. Hellman Hume had something to say about the power project which contributes much on the social based development. The members also visited the director's office, Honorable Aiden Bahama, who shared with them the same as what the district commissioner said. Then a simple gathering was held from the district conference hall where the LADP coordinator portrayed the project's progress and some accomplishment. At Rusumo Primary School, the head teacher, Iman Brighton, extended his thanks to the project for the installation of classrooms, buildings, toilets, teachers' houses, and the water tank. The school is new, and because of the good access of resources, the rank has now been developed to 700 pupils. <laughs> Rusumo Primary School and Rusumo Kendra Dispensary are the nearby beneficiaries of project. Nurse Lydia Samuel, who is also acting as a supervisor of the center, said before the building of the dispensary, many people could suffer but after the installation of better buildings, people have been well kept in all matters of earth. <laughs> After visiting the two educational and the ethical sites, the team went on the next phase of Lusumo Village Water Project where they visited the Luvuvu water source from which the water will be direct invested to the water gallery tank. In appreciation of the water project, Ms. Fadira Ndegea said the villagers alongside the Luvuvu River and Lusumo at large have been facing it difficult for them to fetch water from downhill and sometimes they have been charged up to 1,000 shillings a 20 liters jerkin. Si tunaomba kwa kweli mradi huu ufanyike kwa uhalaka ili kuzuri tupate maji kwa wakati. Maana sasa hivi tuna changamoto sana ya maji. Tukiangalia kutoa dumu kule kulifikisha kama maeneo haya ya kati inakuwa ni shilingi 1000 kwa dumu moja. na changamoto mbalimbali. Changamoto moja wapo ni kuchelewa kukamilika kwa miradi hiyo na hususan ni mradi wa maji wa Rusumo. Tumekuta bado sana huko nyuma na kikubwa ambacho kimesababisha mradi huo kuwa nyuma tumekutoa kwamba e, bado baadhi ya vibali havijatoka kwa ajili ya kuanza kazi hiyo. Lakini kupitia ziara hii tayari tumeshatoa maelekezo kwamba vibali hivyo vipatikane haraka na mkandarasi aanze kazi ili mradi wa maji uweze kukamilika na wananchi wa Rusumo wapate maji. The construction of Rusumo S Center is still in progress though some landmarks have been planted out at 25%. Engineer Albert Yansbert from Lumanyika Investment said 
baada ya kuwa tumepata mwafaka wa wazee ili tufanyike na kitu kinachotakiwa kufanyika katika shauku tayari saa hizi tumerudi na kazi ni ndefu tunaongeza kasi tunaongeza mipango tunatumia tayari tukipata nyongeza ya miezi miwili tunaweza tukamaliza kazi After the accomplishment of this S center, most of the medical treatment and admission will be applied from here. Therefore, the well-being of Lusumo villagers and the people from outside will be more efficient. Lakini tuombe tuendelee kubaki na ratiba ile kwa sababu hatuna changamoto nyingine tena. Eh hatuna changamoto. Kwa hiyo tunachotakiwa sasa wewe kwanza kumaliza mradi wa kutafuta kipindi kifupi maana yake pia una save. Si ndio unapunguza gharama. Mradi ukifanya kwa muda mrefu gharama inakuwa kubwa. Lakini sasa si tutataka kwa viwango vile vile bora ule ule tunajipanga upya. Tumekuwa na utakuwa na manufaa. Kwa sababu ni endelevu. Kwa maana ya kwamba ah kipaumbele kikubwa tukifikiria tukae na watoto wa kike hapa. Ah wanapata wakati mgumu ni kuishi. Wanaishi bila kupanga ambazo The Bukrido Secondary School has been handed with water tanks which support rain water vesting and also the school has got toilets and the girls cross exchanging room. At the hostel rooms were not in use, the team allowed the headmaster to start using them as they are ready for use together with the dining hall. The vision of the project lights on the both educational, ethical, agricultural and livestock keeping. There is a greenhouse agricultural project running at Chief Village in Tobeye, which is expected to benefit up to set of people in groups. The greenhouse basically deals with the vegetables, mostly tomatoes. The greenhouse uses the water pumped by machine for irrigating seedling within it. Mr. Jaskim Kabebo, agricultural officer, said, this project will ensure balanced diet, employment, and it stands at the source of income. Also, will help people gain experience of installing their own local greenhouses. To kiendesha mladi wa mboga mboga mlazima tutaondoa utapiamulo watapata lishe kwanza wananchi. Lakini pia kubwa sana kwamba watapata experience. Namna gani mazao ya nalimu kwenye kitalo nyumba. Kwa pale wanaweza wakatokea wa wanaojiweza nao wakataka kufanya baada ya kuona impact ambayo itakuwa imetokea kwenye ikazi. The greenhouse is 8 meter with 24 meter length and it can produce up to 3840 kilograms of tomatoes per season. Previously the beekeepers were using the local beehives which seems to reduce the quality of honey product since the rain water penetrates and sometimes the lights destroy beehives. After the installation of the new and advanced beehives, the honey production has been increased by producing the quality and the quantity honey. Mr. Joseph John Mliang, with the supervisor and the Natural Resources Office of Ngara District, said for the best results of beekeeping, the environment should be maintained by planting trees. Also, insisted on the security of hives since they are expensive. One beehive produced 10 liters of honey, whereby one liter produced by sting bees is sold at 10,000 and 30,000 shillings a liter for the stingless product. More than 365 
five beehives were provided and distributed to five villages where the beekeepers were also trained how to use them successfully. Moja manufakaji kwanza wananufaika kupata kipato. Kwa sababu ukichukua mfano lita ya asali kwa mazingira hapa sisi kwetu kwa local market lita ya asali ni shilingi 1000 lita moja ya asali 30 nategemea ni sehemu kwenda kule kijijini kabisa ni shilingi 30 ukija huku mjini kijijini ni shilingi 30 ukija huku mjini shilingi 35 kwa hiyo kwa hiyo sasa kwa kutumia tu asali kupata asali pia inawasaidia wananchi kwamba wanapata kipato kikubwa lakini bali na hapo pia utunzaji wa mazingira kwamba wanafaa utunzaji wa mazingira kwa una tabia ya uchomaji moto lakini sasa ukiweka mazingira kama hii sasa wananchi wana change tabia zile tabia za uchomaji moto kuchoma choma ovyo pia tunasipunguza kwa baadhi ya maeneo The Ministry of Energy team, together with NELSAP and LADP members, visited the Nyakanazi Power Assembling Point construction, which is estimated to cost 22 million US dollars and the NNT constructors from India. The NNT construction manager, Mr. Surendra Kumar, assured the team about the project quality and they said they are trying their best to accomplish the construction within a given time. Yes, this is Surendra, construction manager uh, Larson and Dubro. Uh, as we have visited this uh, substation, that uh, every uh, front our work is going on, and we are uh, on the uh, line with our planning, and we try our level best to complete this project within the time. On the other side, engineer Innocent Iroga said this power project aims at providing deficient power to different places, including Kigoma region, Geita and Kagera provinces. He also said after the accomplishment of this project, the neighboring countries such as Rwanda and Burundi will be fetching the power from Tanzania. Not only the power planting procedures at Nyakanaz, but also the project has created employment opportunities to people around the project construction unit, as well as villagers have been benefited through the water resource installed by the constructors as they are free to fetch water 24 hours. In addition, Engineer Roger said when the project at Nyakanazi is fully planted, this will lead the Kagera region to the national grid and there will be sufficient power for both industrial and domestic uses. Lakini tuna farm pia eh, katika mikoa hii ya Kigoma na Kagera pamoja na Geita. Umeme uja kwa wa wakika, eh, umeme unapatikana katika katika. Lakini kupitia mladiu sasa, eh, maenewa yetu takuwa na umeme wa wakika. Na kuwa na umeme wa wakika manake, Shughuli za kijamii na kiuchumi litaboreshwa na maana hiyo pato la nchi litaongezeka. The team inspected the project construction which is still in progress and the constructors were advised to recruit more workers as well as extending working hours to ensure minimum accomplishment of the project by 2021. The construction is started yes. also. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. is our gate. Mm -hmm. The road will come like this. And okay. Okay. And this is transformer. This is the five meter road transformer mm -hmm. road. Okay. This is the switch. What is the capacity of the power transformer? 40 mV. 40, 40 mV. Yes. How many? Two. Two. Uh, two, two, two times 40. 40 yes. So 8 mV. So 60 megawatt. Okay, 60, okay, 60 megawatt. Yes, yes. Okay. And that will be uh, 220 to 33. 33. 33. Yes. How many feeders for 33? Seven. Se seven feeders for 33. Two spare. Two spare and yeah. five. Five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ngala, Ngala, Biaramulo, mm -hmm. Kakonko. Ah, Nyakanazi Ngala, Biaramulo, Kakonko. Yes. Okay. So our scope is up to, up to the Swiss yes. gear room. Okay. Yes. Yes. One for Chato. Chato, yes. 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 Three is two. Two, two, mm. two, mm, two family. Okay. Here is two family, here is single family. Uh, this, uh, three, two. Uh, three, 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 six. six. I mean that two in one. Yes. Okay. And the resumo we have a uh, double circuit, yeah? Is it? Is it transmission line? Yeah, transmission yes, line. Yes. So all coming here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm. But, uh, mm. but it is the single circuit. Yeah, it's single, yes. single circuit. Yes. Ah, right yeah. now we, we have not uh, mm. uh, confirmed for the second line. Second line, you yes. have only but the single circuit. Single circuit, yes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That and get the also circuit. the same single circuit. In the incoming yes. from yes. incoming from data yes. is also single. But we have a provision but here. We can extend uh, yeah. two bays. Yeah. And uh, mm. as soon as uh, Tanesco will confirm to us, we can start mm. the work for two bays. Yeah.